So in this video I'll be going through um, ENR healing guide for Resto Druids. The main thing for ENR, if this is the little map we've got, um, is to try and stay on one tank as much as possible. If you try and designate one tank for you to stay on, you can literally just follow him. So at the start you'll get obviously get one big destructor here. And everyone will be stacked here. And then we'll obviously go down, but at halfway through the fight, or one quarter of the way through the fight, tanks have to split to go on small lads top, and obviously to other destructors. So what you want to do is try and stay on the tank, who's obviously tanking the big mobs, like the um, destructor and the obfuscator and stuff like that, because you know they're going to be taking lots of damage. The tanks who are going on the small lads, which is one top and mid, won't be taking a lot of damage, because obviously the small lads don't target, they just move slowly. So you want to be making sure that you're near the tank who's tanking the main mobs, so you can try and get as much HPS out as possible. In doing that, try and put keep your effervescence down where the majority of people are. On this fight, you're going to be moving around your effervescence a lot, and that's going to be the main majority of your mana. And just to keep an eye out, just make sure if you see people with Rain of Fell, give them a double rejuve, give them a rejuve. And if you see a lot of people standing in the rain of fell, which is obviously the green patchy stuff which comes down, just pop a trank because that's going to be where the most of your HPS is coming out from. You know, it's really awkward for healing logs, so you just want to make sure you stay near the tank. So we're going to take lots of the damage and stay near, you know, the main majority of the group because obviously random people get targeted by um, rain of fell stuff like that. They're going to be taking like damage, and you want to stay close to the main majority of the group because obviously the main majority of the group is going to take the most damage. Try and give a life bloom to the tank, obviously, who's going to be get taking the hit, so you can get your um, procs of uh, clear casting. And just keep out for the times on DBM, seeing if there's, you know, a an ad spawning top, you want to rush up there really quickly. And, yeah, you want to make sure, obviously, you know where all the lifts are, and as you can see, the lifts here, the lifts here. So if you're, you know, chilling around here, healing the tank up here, and there's going to be a big ad go top, you can just jump down, go to the lift. Displace a beast to that lift, and you're already up there, ready healing people. But you just want to make sure you're always moving your effervescence to where you know ads are going to spawn from. So if the destructors down here, put down your effervescence there, where the majority of the melee are. Then obviously, if you go top, you got to make sure that you're always putting it down where everyone is. Try and get as many people down in it as possible. And that's obviously just going to do the passive healing of you know if people get hit by rain of fell, your HPS is going to go up. And just save trank for the oh shit moments if people are running into the rain of fell. And yeah. Also, when you have um, bloodless, try and rejuve as many people as possible, and maybe use innovate there. So if you can try and get a rejuve on every single target in your raid, then that's going to be really good for your HPS because obviously later on in the fight, everyone's going to be taking damage. And if they're all rejuved and you have cultivation, you know cultivation is going to proc, and your HPS is just going to skyrocket. But yeah, that's it for ENR. Pretty simple. It's you know not that much of a hard boss. Especially in heroic and normal, there's not even a lot of things for a second tank to do. So just make sure you're following the tank who's, you know, main tanking as such. And he's going to be taking the ads, which you're going to be getting him hit. So you can give him life bloom and rejuves. But yeah, that's it for you now. I'll show you some gameplay now of me healing, you know. And you can see what I was doing and how I had my movement and moving around a lot. But yeah, show that now. <laughs> okay, mid destructor. We have seven healers, so make sure we're all spread. Good logs, by the way. <laughs>
case, can you say it again? Ancestors were Jewish, but fuck it. Do Goddamn you them. Ancestors. And now they're Ash. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ash is Ash. Is <laughs> dust is dust. Uh. My Ash senses. Oh. <laughs> ash senses, boys. Come on, kill the destructors. Too soon? Too soon. No, it's been no. like fucking. It's been not like 70 not years. soon enough, in my opinion. In 73 years. Come on, kill that destruct the top so we can finish the fight, Kappa. Achtung! Spielen! Speak to uh, Ian and you get there quicker. Come on, baby, I need a blood relic. Come on. Oh, 34 gold, I'm in there.